Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wesley Ann and I would love it if you would stick around and join the fam. You can click the subscribe button down below to just hang out with us. Um, I recently just hit a thousand subscribers so I wanted to quickly just tell you guys thank you so much. Um, I started YouTube I would say like a little over a year ago and it has been such a fun journey and so fun just like capturing all kinds of memories for myself and for you guys to like come along and watch my life and I don't know it's just been a really really cool experience and it's something I've wanted to start for the longest time and I finally got up the courage to do it and I'm so thankful that I did so yes if you have been here from the beginning thank you so much for being a loyal subscriber and if you're just now joining my channel like i said i would love if you would subscribe stick around i have a lot in store for this channel in 2020 so yeah it's gonna be a fun year but for today's video i wanted to film a little 2020 goals type video because i didn't film this last year and i kind of regret it i remember it kind of being an idea to film and i just never did it so i wanted to film it for the start of 2020. 2020 is going to be a crazy year. I have like so many things going on. I'm graduating college, which is crazy to even say or think about because um, I just don't even feel like, like college literally flew by. But yeah, I'm graduating college. I am getting married. I'm hopefully gonna get a good job and I'm moving in with a boy. Like. I don't know I can't even believe that I'm like actually like leaving my family like yeah I left for college but like I could always move back after college but, like now I'm not moving back I'm like living with someone and they're gonna be my husband like I don't know it's just such a weird concept to me and it's something I'm so 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 excited for but I'm also like anxious about and just kind of unsure of how all these changes are going to go but I'm having a good attitude about it and I want to embrace all the changes in 2020 because I know it's going to be such a good year. All that being said, obviously just an overview of what my 2020 is going to look like but I wanted to tell you guys about my goals for the year. I have them all on my phone um, but I wanted to just go over them. I have a good bit just because this year I, like I said, I have a lot of changes, so within those changes, like, there's a lot that I want to accomplish and achieve. And yeah, I don't know, I just wanted this to be a chill video, and for you guys to just get some inspiration, maybe if you haven't set goals yet for the new year, or just interested in the goals I'm setting for myself in the new year, but I just wanted to hang out, talk with you guys, obviously that's why I'm, like, not all done up and in my t-shirt and just hanging out, so... Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go over these goals with you guys. Some of them are kind of smaller, general goals others are kind of like bigger like lifestyle changing goals i guess i'm just gonna get into it so for the first one i originally said that i wanted to hit 10,000 subscribers on youtube because i just recently hit a thousand like i said and um i don't know i was just like oh i hit a thousand like my next milestone is like 10,000. but honestly no like every subscriber i get is like a milestone i guess and like it's not really about numbers for me so I don't want to have that goal end goal in mind of like I need 10,000 subscribers because I don't like if I only get 100 more subscribers this year like at least that's 100 more people that I get to like impact with my videos and just share my journey with. So overall I just want to grow my channel and work really hard to put out content for you guys. So that is a goal of mine and then another goal going along with that is to get a vlogging camera. Um, you guys know I vlog all my stuff on my phone, which is nice and convenient and not expensive, but I really, really just want to go ahead and like get a vlogging camera because I know it'll be like so much easier to film videos and whatnot on there. So you definitely want to get a vlogging camera at some point in 2020. Okay, so another goal of mine in 2020 is to land a really good job. So like I said, I'm graduating, which obviously I guess another goal is to graduate, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to graduate. Uh, knock on wood. But anyway, I'm graduating with a communications major and a marketing minor. So I just really want to do a lot with that. I think I've set myself up to be a very marketable employee and I just think I put myself in a position to be able to land a bunch of different jobs so like I haven't really limited myself to one thing so I just want to like land a good job and not limit myself and just like take the first job that's offered to me um I really want to like 
see what my options are and yeah I don't know I just really want to get a good job that I love um, and then I'd like to graduate with all A's and then... <laughs> Finley just sneezed okay are you okay buddy I would like to graduate with all A's my last semester. Don't know if it's going to happen, but I hope it will because um, I have a pretty easy last semester. I'm taking like tennis, outdoor recreation, like life skills. I don't know, just a bunch of stuff just to get credits. And I think it'll be a pretty easy semester, so I'd really, really love to just finish out my college career with all A's. And I want to work on my money habits so i want to kind of create a budget this year and really stick to it um i need to be saving a lot of money because obviously i'm getting married and i'm gonna have a lot of expenses that i need to pay for and i really just want to like work on saving my money because i'm not a huge saver i want to get to the point where like i know like when i'm putting that money in my savings account i do not touch it so i definitely want to get better with budgeting and my money and thankfully my fiance is very very good with finances so he will be over all of our finances and our marriage um so i'm not really gonna have to worry about that i guess once we're married but as far as like the months that we're not married i need to work on it myself for sure i want to basically make our apartment because we're most likely going to be living in an apartment i want to do a good job of making it feel very homey and like designing it the way i want to design it like i don't want to just like throw a bunch of random stuff together and be like oh like i don't like it here like you guys have probably heard me talk in other videos that i think it is so important to invest in the place that you're living because a lot of times it can affect and almost like completely determine your mood for the day like if i wake up and i'm in an environment that i don't love like i don't know it just like sets a tone for the day for me so i just want to like be really proud of like the design that our apartment is and like where we live i don't know i just think it will make all the difference and i have a lot of really good ideas for how i want it to look so be on the lookout for moving vlogs and apartment tours and apartment shopping and all that stuff because that's all coming in 2020 but yeah definitely make our apartment um our home and then another goal i have is to travel and experience so i feel like in the past few years i have not traveled as much as i want to and this year i really want to just travel because i feel like i spend my money on such pointless things when i could be spending it on experiences and when i have been able to travel like i absolutely love it it makes me want to travel even more and not even like out of the country just like even in the united states like i feel like i haven't even been outside of the east coast like i would love to go to california i have a friend that lives there my cousin lives in florida and i would love to go visit her at some point just spend a few days there even and i also really would love to go to new york i've already been looking at flights for new york and like kind of what the pricing would be and thinking about a trip there um, and then obviously I've got my bachelorette trip coming up um, just things like that so just trying to travel more because I just want to experience more things and not just be stuck in my little hometown or stuck in my little college town like we also have our honeymoon obviously so I'll be traveling for that but like I don't know I just want to like also still travel a few places with my friends on my own before I do get married so my next goal is to live in the moment so I kind of make this a goal every day when I wake up is to just like be present in every moment because a lot of times I feel like I'm constantly thinking about the next thing next thing next thing and that's just how I am that's my personality but I need to stop looking at things in life as such a checklist I want to look at it as like an actual moment and a memory and something that I'll never get back so I don't want to like dwell on like certain things like oh well this will pass this will pass like I just want to be able to be present in the moment and embrace it instead of dwelling on it so that's a big goal and also just investing time in my friends and at college and just like making memories because it's my last semester of college I really want to make it count and I want to make it the best semester yet um, because it's gonna be the last semester that I really get to be with all my friends like this conveniently like obviously I'm gonna try and like arrange to be able to see them and stuff but I just want to like make the most of these last few months with them and then another thing is to not get overwhelmed um i constantly have to remind myself that god is in control he has my future ready for me like i can't control everything and i can't plan out everything exactly <laughs> finley's face okay i'm gonna insert a picture right here of what finley's face looks like right now because it is so funny but anyway yeah i don't want to get overwhelmed 
um, and think that I have to figure everything out right now because I don't like literally I feel like I have to have my whole wedding plan I have to have like my job right now I have to have all the stuff and like all of it will come eventually like I just have to take it day by day and I just really want to work on focusing on the day in the moment like I said and just not overwhelming myself and then I want to enjoy everything about being engaged and married so everything in this season of life of engagement I want to enjoy and like I said not dwell on and then once I'm married I really want to take full advantage of that change because yes it's going to be a big change in life I'm going to be married like I'm going to have to learn how to pay bills with that person and like I basically am literally just leaving my family and starting my own so it's going to be a lot of emotional change but I want to make the best of it so I guess that's another goal all those are kind of like one goal but yeah just again I told you guys it would be like some lifestyle goals in here so those are some of those but I also want to be a good wife a good daughter a good sister and a good friend all of that is going to fall under the goal of being better at communicating so I feel like communication is such a big factor in relationships like marriage, friendships, family relationships, any relationships you have, communication is key and being a communications major you'd think I'd be really good at that but um, I just want to make it more a priority to talk with my family more. This past year really showed me the value of family. My grandparents health is dwindling very quickly. Um, my dad had heart surgery this past year and that was super scary and something hard to go through because we didn't know exactly what the outcome would be or how he would make it through um, but by the grace of God he made it and is doing so much better now but just different things like that that happened in 2019 are things that make me value my family and the relationship I do have with them so I want to just like take full advantage of the fact that it's so easy to pick up the phone and call them and te or text them, FaceTime them, whatever, daily, weekly, like just communicate with them better and not let the whole day get away without me like texting my mom or something. So just something like that, um, just being better at communicating and yeah. So my next goal is to put God first in everything. So I really want to prioritize my relationship with him. And like I said, I don't want to get overwhelmed with things and a lot of that can fall into like putting God in my relationship with him on the back burner just because I'm so focused on plan 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 what's to do what's next instead of like really just being thankful that I have a Lord and Savior that loves me so much and has blessed me with the opportunity to be so busy and to have those things on my to-do list like I don't know I just want to put him first in everything um, I think that's something I kind of struggled with in 2019 was really really truly making him my top priority in all things so I really want to focus a lot on that in 2020 and then my final goal is to find a good routine so I really want to like get in the habit and routine of going to the gym like at least every other day um, and then I want to get in a good diet routine chores etc um, it's literally what I wrote on there but just getting in a good routine of like making my bed cleaning my room I mean I already make my bed every day but just like making things that are like a hassle and making them a habit um, is something that I'm really trying to work on in 2020 and not feel like those things that I am doing on my to-do list are like burdens or whatever like I want to actually genuinely enjoy doing them make them a habit make them a part of my routine and my lifestyle and then having a good diet I love healthy foods I love eating good I always feel so much better when I eat healthy but it's just so much more convenient to eat bad like they literally just put a chick-fil-a on our campus like how am i not gonna go there like every day for lunch like i don't know things like that are just like stuff that i like are my weaknesses and i struggle with and i really just want to make it a priority to implement like a good diet and healthy lifestyle into my routine every day so yeah those are basically all my goals that I wrote down for 2020. I know that it might seem like a lot or might not seem like a lot to some of you guys, but those are genuinely just the things I hope to achieve throughout the year. And I wanted to share them with you guys, um, like I said, to hopefully inspire you, but also to hold myself accountable and making sure that I'm constantly checking that list uh, throughout the year to make sure that I'm doing those things and working towards those goals so if you made it to the end of this thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed already stick around obviously you heard me talking about what a crazy year 2020 is going to be and I'm going to be 
filming so much of it and sharing it with you guys so definitely stick around because you don't want to miss any of it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one